Well, good morning, people. Welcome back to the grumpy old get in the corner on a mm, little bit cloudy but nice Thursday morning. Um, before I get into this today, I'd just like to wish police abusing powers, Pap, um, well on his recovery. Um, for those that don't know, um, he did have some tingles and numbness on the live the other day or the other night I should say um, and due to badgering from us and persisting pins and needles and a little bit of numbness um, we've persuaded him to go to the hospital which is where he's ended up um, he's still in there at the moment I haven't heard from him yet this morning but I will update you all on what's happening there but um, I dare say there won't be any PAP videos or reports for a couple of days. Obviously, Dan's going to need time to recover. I'm, I'm sure he'll um, pop up at some point and give an update himself as and when he can. So, Dan, if you're watching, mate, or listening, all the best. We're all here for you, buddy. Right. Um, well, I came across this yesterday. So this is how it begins. They've got your money. They want to control you. Now you want any of your money. And you're going to have to prove what you're going to spend it on. If you can't, they won't give it you. Simple as. Unbelievable. Now, this is why they're forcing the cashless society. They want to control every little piece that you buy, spend, eat, smoke, drink. It's beginning. <coughs> now, you know where all this is heading. You know, if you don't bow down to their wishes, their narratives, their directives, they'll starve you out. This is where this is all heading. You know, they'll cut you off. They'll have control of the banks. And I think we're going to see a lot more of this. Um, the dystopian future is creeping very, very close now. But, um, yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. Now, yesterday I sat down to watch the uh, slanging match that is Roland's Question Times. <laughs> and, as it expected, it turned into the slanging match. That's the only reason I watched. But there was one highlight. <laughs> as a Tory MP got invited to leave the House, shall we say. Basically, Mr Speaker was not happy... So he booted them out. <laughs> you know, if if they concentrated on sorting the country out rather than spending their time bitching and backstabbing, I think we'd be in a better situation than we are now. But uh, anyway, so Ofgen has given out the new price cap today on energy. And uh, they've dropped it down to £2,074. Now they'll say, they're will say they saying this is going to be an average saving of £400 on a normal household. But they're saying they've brought this down to the annual average. What is the annual, annual average? I mean all it's done in the last few years is go up and up and up. So how can you say there's an average? I mean, in my mind, this is just malinformation. They're just twisting figures and timelines. But they're saying we'll see a reduction on our bills. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm not. Now, this cap is only valid from July to September. So, will it go up again in the winter? when the usage goes up again we know this time of year it goes down 
Uh, I seriously think they're playing games with us. It's the bullshit game. Malinformation again. But there we go. So the police yesterday have made a statement on the shit that went off down in Cardiff. Now, we've all seen the videos, we've all heard interviews and crap like this. But this is what they're saying. So what does this show you then? Well, what this actually tells me, that they've said they weren't chasing the lads on the bike, but they're admitting that they were following them. Now, we've all seen the clip. And I would say at the speed them lads were going and at the speed the police van was going, that is a chase. But they're saying they were just following them, probably because they haven't got the blues and twos on. But this actually tells me, and in my opinion, that they were chasing the lads. They'd lost them temporary, temporarily. And that's when the accident happened. And of course they'd turn their blues and twos on once they heard about the accident. Literally they're using seconds to just try and cover up what they were doing. I mean that's my opinion. I don't know what you lot think. Now. Are they using minute and seconds to cover up themselves? Cover up for themselves? So, were they lying? Well, in my opinion, yes. But again, using malinformation. It's only my opinion. Others may differ, but that's mine. Right, I'm going to leave it there for today, folks. Um, there will be a live tomorrow. So there won't be a video in the morning unless something extraordinary happens. Um, we've got the immigration figures coming out um, in about an hour, I think it is. Um, obviously a bit late to go in this video, but we will discuss those in um, tomorrow's live. It will be at the usual time, between 2 and 2.30, and we'll probably go on till about 5, maybe a bit longer. We'll see how it goes but yeah lots of news coming out now uh, they're using a lot of it to smoke screen what's really going on out there but hey we're only watching right that's it guys I'm off for now so until tomorrow as always stay safe stay strong Stay free from the corruption and the bullshit. Respects, guys.